friends this motor i have in this there is a terminal box inside the terminal box you can see motor winding is connected in delta and to run this motor only one cable is used it means right now through dol starter this motor is operated now i want to run this motor through star delta starter so this starter here you can see is of same motor when you look inside the starter then in this you can see total three contactor are used this contactor is for main this is for star and this one is for delta it means for our motor star delta starter is used but output cable of this here you can see output terminal is given here now here we have total six terminals but among these six terminals only three terminals are used this motor cable is brought to this point and connected here it means for now if we turn on the motor so i am turning on the motor after turning on motor still it is not showing current value on indication is glowing but when motor winding goes from star to delta then suddenly motor is turned on you can see now it is showing current value so to these three terminals power supply is coming from delta contactor and on these three terminals only we connected a cable through which motor is running now above this to these three terminals power supply is coming from main contactor power supply which is coming from main contactor with this we have to connect these three wires and along with this we have to connect these with the motor how to connect these let's understand so whenever you are going for connection then first of all you have to disconnect the power supply so i am turning off the control mcb and along with this the mccb that is main incoming power supply i am turning off this also you can see here there is no power supply now that is whole power supply is now disconnected now let's go to our motor friends this is the cable which is coming from starter now first of all we have to check the continuity of this cable after checking the continuity we will do the connection we have to check continuity because we need to identify whether cable is proper or not or either this cable is of other starter so let's check the continuity first hello sir hello please short the r and y cable on the other side okay sir i have connected the red and yellow wire please check so friends on another side of cable i shorted r and y cable now i will check continuity here you can see this multimeter here you can see r and y cables are short so i am getting continuity here now i will short other wire so let's short y and b sir now please short y and b okay sir i have connected the wire please check on another side i short y and b wires you can see in y and b also we are getting continuity it means cable we saw on other side before this is the same cable so continuity test is completed now we can use this cable for connecting with motor connection of motor is already there so let's open this connection friends you can see here short links are connected if short links are connected like this then it means motor connection is in delta but if this short link is connected like this i mean if above terminals are short then in this condition motor connection will be in star right now motor is connected in delta so now i disconnected the cable now i have to remove this short link from here because i want to run this motor through star delta starter okay i removed all the three short links after removing the short link you have to do continuity test here you have to see that motor winding is proper or not and along with this you have to see which winding is connected to which terminal we can understand this through continuity so in this multimeter i selected the continuity position now what i will do motor terminals here i will do the test of continuity to these terminals so i am connecting this red prop with this terminal after this another prop with this terminal we are not getting any continuity after this let's check with this terminal here we are getting continuity it means one end of motor winding is connected here and other end of the winding is connected here now i am connecting black prop with this point here we don't get any continuity we must get continuity of this point at only one point except that we must not get any continuity so let's check for this winding we must get continuity of this here here we are getting continuity let's check on another points also okay for this third point we must get continuity at this point here we are getting continuity on rest of the points also i am checking no it's not there so you saw winding connected at this point other end of this is connected here similarly winding connected at this point other end of this is connected here and third winding which is connected here connection of this is done at this point 
Now this second cable we have, we have to insert this cable. So let's insert this. <laughs> I connected gland with the motor TB. Now place back the check nut. These two cables here. Now how to connect these two cables? Let us understand this also. Friends, this circuit diagram you can see here. This is power wiring of star delta starter. In this wiring, main contactor here, power supply is going from this and in this motor, there is terminal box. In this, upper terminals U1, V1, W1 with these three terminals R, Y, B, all the three phase are connected. From these three terminals, power supply which is going, is going through delta contactor. Now connection we will do here, there are some changes in this. Changes here are, to the motor winding, two power supply we have to connect. To the winding at which we provided R phase power supply, to other end of same winding, I mean at this point there is other end, to this end we will provide different phase power supply. Similarly to wire connected at this point, other end of this is connected here. To this end, we connected wire phase power supply. So we will provide R phase power supply to this end. After this, at this terminal, winding which is connected, to this we provided B phase power supply. So to other end, we provided Y phase power supply. It means to each winding, we connected two different phase power supply. Ok then, let's start the connection of motor. Now here what we have to do, this first cable here, I mean the cable which was connected before for delta connection, bring the power supply of this cable and connect with these three terminals. This point here, with this point I am connecting R phase power supply, with center point Y phase and with the third point I am connecting B phase power supply. So friends this cable here which is coming from delta contactor, all the three wires of this cable is connected with these three points. Now this second cable here which is coming from main contactor, take all the three wires of the cable and connect with these three points. When we check the continuity, then we are getting continuity of this point at this point. At this point we connected Y phase, so wire which we connect at this point will be of another phase. I am connecting R phase power supply here. Now at this terminal winding which is connected, we are getting continuity of this here. You can see at this terminal we connected B phase power supply. It means at this terminal, power supply which we connect must be of another phase. So for now, at this point, I am connecting Y phase. Now here one terminal is left, to which we have to connect B phase supply. So I am connecting this also. At this terminal, winding which was connected, other end of this is connected here. So at this point, I connected R phase. So you can see, to one winding, we are connecting two different phase supply. Now let's tighten all the connections. Now let us place back the cover of terminal box. After this, let's go back to starter. Now here we have to do final connection. In this new cable, there are three wires. We have to connect these three wires with these three terminals. Connection which was there previously, it is already connected. We don't have to make any changes in this. We need to connect only this cable. For connection, what you have to do, take R phase cable and connect with R phase. This is R phase, so I am connecting here. Similarly with Y phase power supply, we have to connect Y phase cable. After this, with last terminal, we will connect B phase cable. In this way, we have to do connection. Now tighten all the three wires. Whatever connection you do, do it properly. There must not be any loose connection. Ok, now whole connection is completed. Now finally we have to turn on motor and we have to check this. Before checking this, we have to do final test. That is, we have to check continuity once more. To check continuity, we will select the continuity position in multimeter. After this, with one phase of power supply, I mean with one wire, we will connect one probe of multimeter. After this, take other probe of multimeter and connect with second phase. I am connecting with yellow. You can see, here we are getting continuity. Now I will connect this same prop with other terminals. We must not get continuity anywhere else. Only at single terminal we must get continuity. So we are getting continuity of R phase at Y phase. It means to a single winding we are providing power supply of two different phase. Similarly we must get continuity of Y phase with different phase. We are getting continuity with B phase. After this continuity of B phase wire here 
we will get continuity with R phase. It means motor winding here to a single winding two different power supply is connected. So our whole connection is proper. Let's start this and check this. So whatever power supply I turned off before, I am turning on this. I turned on main power supply. After this, I turned on control power supply. After turning on control power supply, we can see indication is glowing. Right now motor is in off condition. It is not showing any current value. Ok then, I am turning on the motor. For turning on, I am pressing start push button. On pressing this, motor turned on. Ok, after some time, you will hear a knocking sound. When knocking sound comes, it indicates that motor winding is converted from star to delta. So our motor now started working in star delta starter. So friends, I hope you understood how we can run a motor through star delta starter. If you want to know how to change running direction of motor connected in star delta, then click on the right hand side video to watch. Friends, if you like this video, please do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.